beauty. Okay, we made it down to the mine, and this is where the geodes and nodules come out of. Um, this this white titan clay that you see is what you would call the pay zone, where all the geodes and nodules come out of. Up here on the top, uh, where it turns a little little brownish, rusty color. There's no, there are no geodes or nodules in, in there. To the wall here, you can, there's evidence of where geodes were embedded and they're plucked out. Little kind of half circle marks in the wall. That's, those are marks from where a geode or nodule was embedded and, and someone went with a pick and just popped it out. Let's keep going. See? Gotta watch out for that. It was pretty light. The last one did too, so who knows? Alright. It's like a light amethyst. Beautiful. Look how sparkly the crystals come out. Okay, we're here at the bottom of a volcano. We're looking at some basalt. If you look closely at this basalt rock, it's full of holes. It's caused by gas bubbles that were in the lava when it was coming out of the volcano. So we're looking for further evidence to prove that geodes were formed in these bubbles. These are little tiny nodules that have formed inside the bubbles. I've got two rocks in my hands. My right hand is what's called vesicated basalt. The holes that you see were once bubbles in lava. In my left hand, it's the same basalt, except the bubbles were filled with silica to create nodules. This is further proof that geodes and nodules were formed by bubbles in lava. like uh, Gertite crystals on top of the quartz. Beauty. 